think he is doing the great jobs and teachers are doing as well. Can you give any example of what they accomplished? Mm, um, I think he is good in math, history and geography. Um, I think that the way children have been able to cope with this online learning system, I mean physical education is something else, they have extracurricular activities as well, but during online classes they only have to just sit in front of the screen and sit and study and study and study. So the way the teachers have been able to uh, make the students understand and perform well and as well as obviously the effort of the students because obviously the kids do need their um, activities other than studies. It's very important for their mental health and obviously for their physical health as well. Thank you very much, Ms. Beautiful physical classes. Okay, sir. And uh, they are very good generation. Thank and you. hopefully they will rise to occupy senior positions. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He did well in his grades. Okay. Uh, he was good in academics. Physical activities are more important as compared to the classroom thing because you're studying in the classroom. All the clubs which are outside in this in uh, in the ground, uh, in open, these are the activities which should be further bloomed and further uh, increased. Uh, school activities that I like most, I guess Cyclamate was the one that I like most because uh, learners got chance to, you know, have some physical activity after a long time after the COVID situation that we had. I am really very proud because um, my child came up, came from a very different, uh, uh, you know, background. Like um, he had some learning um, gap, so the teachers have put it up beautifully. Like he had, they have actually pulled him to the level where he's required to be. So I'm really very happy for it. Thank you so much. Say uh, meeting up with the expectations of his teachers, okay, and then most importantly, appearing in a in-person exam after having online classes. Any special events? Oh, we do have lots of special events. Um, I think we're introducing a, an international food festival. So that's where the, the parents will be cooking for everybody else. And then I'm hoping as part of our, we have our normal events like the cyclim at the mini mark or marathon. Hopefully Prism will be back. Um, and also I'm hoping that we're going to have this annual music festival starting on the 2nd of the 2nd 22, which should be our uh, Reviat, our national music and dance festival. So there's going to be a lot happening next year, plus the Friday assemblies will be back by popular demand. So, okay, so thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mohammed Mustaf signing in from grade 9. And uh, it was a wonderful day today as it was the result day and most importantly for the first time ever I got the opportunity of um, interviewing many parents and uh, what I came to know is that ma majority of the parents or, or I think almost all of them had a very pragmatic approach towards their child's learning. My name is Sundas Mazar and I'm from grade 8. I'm really enjoying how the parents are have good views about our school and I hope next year too they have good views. Thank you. I'm Lee Ali from grade 8. It's annual result day and I volunteered to give duty on result day. It was an amazing experience interacting with the parents and getting their feedback. 